Oh, be careful. Please don't touch that. This is Tembo, the baby elephant. Say hi, Tembo. <coughs> That's hi, an elephant. In fact, today's all about how elephants communicate. Ready to find out more? Twende, let's go! <laughs> Well, it all began when Tiny Tembo got elephant napped by the terrible Tabor. We had to find a way to get Tembo back to his mama. We recorded Tembo's call and played it back over loudspeakers. His mama heard Tembo's calls and came straight away. But how could the mama elephant hear her baby's cries from so far away? It's time to find out! Let's technovate! MB, maybe if we had big ears like elephants, we can learn how they communicate. That would be cool! But her ears are too small, Sama. Exactly! Let's make ourselves bigger ears! You can use things like paper, tubes or paper cups. Like this! Here are two paper elephant ears I've already decorated. Just fold them around your ears like this. And I'll use two paper cups. I'll just cut out the bottoms. Now pretend you're another elephant, MB. Oh, okay. <laughs> Notice how sounds change when you have bigger ears? Oh yeah! It sounds louder and clearer! And how does it sound if you turn your back on me? I can't hear it as well! Maybe that's why animals' ears move around, to listen and to communicate better! Hearing and communication are so important for elephants' survival. But why? It's time for a super satch. Why is communication so important for elephants? Elephants use communication to work together to find food. <laughs> <laughs> elephants can hear other elephant calls up to a mile away. Whoa! That's ten times farther away than people can hear. Mm -hmm. Not only are their ears bigger and floppy on the outside, but they also have long ear canals on the inside that helps them separate out elephant sounds from all other noises in their habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Your ears are making a nice breeze, Tembo. Ah! Elephants' big ears not only help them hear well from far distances, but also help an elephant stay cool. People sweat when we get too hot. Elephants release heat through their big ears and they use them like a fan to cool off. <laughs> Ooh, what's Tambo doing? Well, elephants don't just use their ears for listening, but also their feet which can feel the vibrations from other elephants stomping from far away. Whoa! They can hear through solid ground? Here's the super fact! Tembo's stomping creates sound vibrations which let him communicate with other elephants up to 20 miles away! <laughs> it looks like Tembo has communicated to his mama that it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, Tembo, that's another thing elephants are good at. Hugging! <laughs> elephants are amazing, aren't they? Watch my other steam vlogs for even more inspiration. Together we can change the world. Stay super and keep tight. Stay connected with me on the Super Samba YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to sleep under the stars in the coolest sleepover ever. Ready to find out more? Twende, let's go! I'm so excited to have 
have a sleepover, Sema. Woohoo! <laughs> you don't seem very sleepy, Aziza. How can I be when we're going to build a fantastic fort to sleep in? That's right. We were inspired by the fort we built to spy and to bore. <laughs> we made a plan for our fort and how we were going to build it. It wasn't easy and we had a few problems. But when we began to think like engineers, we came up with a solution. But what are engineers and what do they do? Let's find out. It's time for a super search. Tell me more about engineers. An engineer is a person who designs and builds complex products, machines, systems or structures. Engineers use math and science to solve everyday problems to make work and play easier, more enjoyable and healthier. So how does an engineer go about engineering a building? Well, the steps are research, imagine, plan, create, test, and improve. Huh? Ooh, I've been imagining an amazing dance party. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> well, now that we've imagined, it's time to plan and make our fort. Let's technovate! So what do we want our fort to look like? It needs to be big enough to fit both of us. Yeah, and with doors and windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this and this. Yeah, and ooh, what about an open roof mm -hmm. so we can dance under the stars? Super cool, I love it. And we'll need to decorate it with lots of color. Epic. This cardboard is perfect for building the fort. Uh-huh, yeah. I'm going to cut holes in the boxes for windows and doors. And I'm going to add some bright colors with this color tape. We'll be right back. There. Now our masterpiece for engineering is ready. Uh, there's only one problem. Huh? We won't be able to see the night sky in here. I can fix that. Don't you build your own fab fort? Watch my other steam vlogs for even more inspiration. Together we can change the world. Stay super and keep, keep technovating. Stay connected with me on the Super Sema YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe. It's a super exciting day today. Mrs. Tom Tom and Peter Pizza are getting married. We've been helping fix their wedding after Tabor decided to ruin it. But I've had an idea how to make it extra colorful. Ready to find out more? Twende, let's go! It all began when Tabor and the Bungalalas decided to crash the wedding. Peter Pizza was very upset. It's all ruined! No venue, no cake, no wedding! But we decided nothing can spoil a celebration of love. Peter Pizza, we're going to make you the... Their wedding is so colorful. It's got me thinking all about color. Hmm. Time for a super search. What kind of colors are there? This is a color wheel. It's a chart that shows primary and secondary colors. Primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. All of the colors are made up of a mix of these three. We can make secondary colors by mixing two primary colors together. That's how we make orange, green, and purple. I've recently discovered some cool facts about colors. Bring on the super facts. Take orange. It's made up of the primary colors red and yellow. Did you know an orange colored cup makes hot chocolate taste better than other colored cups? Mmm, it's true, delicious. And did you know yellow and red together makes you hungry? Oh, not now, Tummy. I have some technovating to do. <laughs> I'm going to make colorful flowers for Mrs. Tum Tum's wedding. Let's technovate! The first step is to make beautifully colored papers using a technique called chromatography. 
That's a process for separating mixtures. Take a coffee filter and, using a washable marker, draw a thick circle about halfway between the middle and the edge. Try using more than one color to see what happens. Now add about a teaspoon of water to the middle of the coffee filter and watch how the colors spread. Wow, so beautiful! As the water soaks into the filter, it takes the color dyes in the ink along with it. See how different colors separate? That's because different dyes have different solubility levels and travel at different speeds as the water moves. Now grab it in the middle and bunch it up to form a pretty flower. I've made lots of different colors to make a spectacular wedding bouquet. I hope they like it. One last thing for some extra bling. Attach some LED strips to your bouquet and... Yes! The flowers have come to life! <laughs> you can finish them off with some green pipe cleaner stalks and put them in paper cups as vases. Super sweet! Huh? <laughs> 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 It looks like these flowers won't be the only colorful things at the wedding. <laughs> Why not try making your own bunch of colorful flowers? Watch my other theme vlogs for even more inspiration. Together we can change the world. Stay super and keep technovating. Stay connected with me on the Super Summer YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. There's a light moving across the sky. Oh yeah. What do you think it is? I don't think it's a comet or an airplane. It's moving in a straight line across the sky and it's not twinkling. That means it's probably... A, a satellite. satellite! Satellites orbit close to Earth, much closer than stars or other planets. Mm -hmm. I think we should get close up and find out more. Are you ready? Twende, let's go! Satellites are so interesting and cool, floating around the world every day. But how do they get up there? Well, we learned a lot about satellites when we technovated one to change the world. We sent our satellite into space on a rocket. Whoa! Whoosh! We have liftoff! The satellite could monitor the weather, predict storms and droughts, maybe even discover an alien or two. <laughs> And keep an eye on Naughty to Bore. And all of Dunia too. One day AI will triumph forever. So what are satellites? It's time for a supersat. Tell us more about satellites. A satellite is any object that orbits or goes around a planet or star. Satellites like this are made on Earth and launched into space on rockets. They usually have a computer and solar panels to get power from the sun. And sometimes they can have scientific equipment, like special cameras to film outer space or see what's happening on Earth. Here's a super fact. Today there are more than 2,000 satellites orbiting Earth. But how do they stay up there, MB? What about gravity? Good point. Gravity is what makes things fall back to Earth. It's an invisible force that pulls objects towards each other. When objects are farther away from the Earth, the gravity pulls much less. Satellites must move at a certain speed so they don't get affected by gravity and can stay in space. They have to change speed depending on how far or close they are to Earth. We used a super big rocket to break the pull of Earth's gravity and send our satellite into space. But you can make your very own little rocket at home. Want to try? Then let's technovate! First make the launcher. Take an empty juice pouch, snack packet or recycle a small plastic food bag and place a straw inside, taping it closed. Make sure there are no holes in the pouch other than the top of the straw. Now. Make the rocket's body by rolling a square piece of paper over a pencil and tape along the seam, removing the pencil. Then, add some fins. Glue two pieces of paper on each side and trim the end at an angle. Finally, tape the top of the rocket. You can decorate your rocket with markers, paint, stickers. Make it your own. And we're ready for blast off. Want to try it? Oh yeah. First, 
in flakes of juice pouch or snack packets like this. Then put the rocket over the straw, aiming the rocket upwards. Place it on the ground, then stomp on the pouch. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Yeah! The air inside the pouch creates a force which blasts it off. That was cool. <gasps> Whoa! Nice rocket, Moyo! <laughs> Why not launch your own rocket? Watch my other steam vlogs for even more inspiration. Together we can change the world. Stay super and keep, keep technovating. Stay connected with me on the Super Sema YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe.